Hey everyone, it's me Alex and this week I'm only eating food from 7-Eleven Japan. <laughs> So you're probably wondering, Alex, why on earth would you fly to another country and then only eat at a convenience store for an entire week? Well, here's the thing. I've been to Japan many times. I've tried a lot of food in this country. Last night, Tiash and I had Korean barbecue. It was about $40 a head for all you can eat, all you can drink. It was incredible, but it did make me stop and think, gosh, I have spent so much money on food. And in 7-Eleven in Japan, the food is absolutely delicious. Don't think of it like the 7-Eleven that you know from your own country. I mean, in Australia, 7-Eleven is literally just sausage rolls, meat pies. Yes, we have meat pies in Australia. We don't do sweet pies, we do meat pies. You can't get a nice proper meal from 7-Eleven in Australia. But in Japan, oh boy, you can get everything that you could possibly want. So I'm not concerned about the fact that I'm only gonna be eating at 7-Eleven. My wallet will definitely thank me for it because the less that I spend on food, the more I can spend on clothes. So with that, this is day one today. It's a Monday, perfect day to start. I'm going to pick up maybe, I don't know, it, it's like, with my imaginary watch. It's quarter past a freckle. I think it's about 8 a.m. I'm gonna try and get a little bit of the more traditional Japanese stuff. So I'm gonna grab probably three meals a day, if not more. You know, we're in Akasaka right now. Akasaka Mitsuke Station is on the metro line. This is my favorite place to stay in Tokyo, or one of my favorite places. This is a really, really foodie district. There's so many restaurants here. Our hotel, which is called the Super Hotel, is really close to the station. And luckily for us, there is a 7-Eleven underneath it. So up there, that's our hotel. And there's the 7-Eleven. So let's head inside and get my first breakfast and my first meal of the week. <laughs> Breakfast time, great time to buy some juice. There's also smoothies, there's milk, coffee, so everything you need. Oh, and yogurt as well. Look, yogurt. Oh, and cafe latte. Oh, do I need a coffee? It is the morning. I want some soft boiled eggs. There's a big packet of egg there, that's raw egg. Don't make that mistake. I found eggs. eggs. Oh, good. I found hot coffee. Excellent. Okay, hot coffee is this one. Oh, hot coffee is 162 yen, cold coffee is 150 yen. But I'm gonna go for the hot one. Seven hundred and thirty-nine yen later, so that's about eight dollars, eight US dollars for breakfast. That's, that's okay. If you went to a cafe, you'd be paying about fifteen or so. Okay, itadakimasu. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna crack open a cold one. It it's very sweet. That is one of the things you know. If if you don't like sugar in your coffee, just look for the black coffees. Also got my juice, berry sarada. So one of the helpful hints in Japan, if you buy stuff in a 7-Eleven, it's considered pretty rude to walk through the street and eat. Try and find a place to sit down before you eat it, and keep your little plastic bag. Put your rubbish back in the plastic bag. There's no bins in public in Japan. That's a life hack for you. <coughs> it's nice, but it's got pulp in it and I didn't think that it would have pulp in it and the pulp is really scratchy but it's very tasty. <laughs> this meal, they heated it up in the microwave for me. We've got fish of some sort, looks kind of possibly like tuna. This is some sort of pickled maybe seaweed that's got sesame seeds mixed in and then over here this is like a maybe spinach or something and then it's just rice underneath. Delicious. It's not tuna. It almost tastes like sardines. So, I have another life hack for you guys actually. If you download Google Translate and you can download a language basically, and what you can do in real time, you can look, let me just let me screen record this so you can see. You just hover it. Oh, it's mackerel. Literally live in front of your eyes, it'll translate it from Japanese into English. Welcome to the future, guys. That is a uh, a little life hack it really really helps when you're traveling too because if you're in 7-eleven and you're like that looks nice but I have no idea what that is and I'm a bit scared then you can just use your phone and translate it but yeah this is mackerel and it's absolutely delicious and this stuff on the side here mm, some sort of seaweed got sesame oil and it's got sesame seeds it's so tasty and also I've got my boiled eggs too I've got two because eggs are very good good there if you want a snack on a whole egg here's my life hack look I'm full of life hacks today get your phone and you just give it a whack. Okay, there we go. It's time for some peel porn. Oh yeah. Okay, we're almost there. Look, I'm an expert at this now. I've done this so, so many times in Japan. I literally snack on eggs. Anytime I feel ever so slightly hungry, I run into a 7-Eleven for an emergency egg. Yum, okay, ready? No, wait. No, no, don't you zoom out. You come back here. You, you come back here. Yeah. 
Glorious. Eggs in Japan are the most delicious eggs you'll ever eat. I don't know how they do it. I'm gonna finish this because if I try to talk and eat, I will choke and die. This is not a mukbang channel. That's my breakfast, guys. 739 yen. So I'll uh, catch you at lunch. Very nice. Tossing up between pork and beef, the pork doesn't have rice, the beef does. Okay guys, so I want this video to be a little bit more interesting than just watching me eat approximately 15 meals throughout the week. We've put together a little list. Today's just like my choice, whatever I want. But tomorrow, tomorrow my challenge is that I'm going to try and find restaurant equivalents. So Tiasha can eat wherever she wants tomorrow. If she wants to have Starbucks, I would then have to buy a Starbucks latte from 7-Eleven. So I'm trying to match everything that she eats tomorrow. Day three is gonna be a vegetarian day because I know so many of you are vegetarian and so many people worry that when they come to Japan they're not gonna be able to find vegetarian food. I understand that some of you are a little bit freaked out by food that might have a little bit of slimy texture to it or you know it's maybe too spicy so day four is going to be western food from 7-eleven and then day five is going to be mystery food so i'm going to send tiasha in without me and she's going to pick anything the weirdest stuff i'm sure she'll come back with natto if you know what natto is pray for me okay so today for lunch 1041 yen we have a serving of gyoza which they so kindly heated up for me they've got a little sachet of soy and a little sachet of chili in there i also got the beautiful beef which looks really really nice now that it's been heated up it's gone all like gooey and soft i got a sapporo beer my favorite beer in japan i've been to the brewery in hokkaido it's so good and we also got a bottle of water for that so ten dollars for lunch my american audience you already have to add the tax on in your head because that's a, a thing that you guys do they do that here in japan too in australia the price that's written on something is the price of it so this one with tax was 248 yen for the gyoza 430 yen for the beef so like four dollars thirty for a bowl of beef and rice and then the beer was about like 250 yen or so, so two dollars fifty for a giant can of beer. Can't really ask for much more. Ten dollars for lunch. Mm, happy little dumpling. <laughs> so tasty. Hop, hop. Doesn't get much better than this. Perfection. Okay, there's a little seasoning sachet. So it looks like the beef is separate to the rice. Yes, it is. So you've got the beef on the top there and then so that the rice doesn't go soggy, you can tip it in on top. Put some of the seasoning on. The seasoning is like chili flakes and a little, little bit of seaweed. Itadakimasu! Oh. Mm. oh my god. There are no words. The only thing that would perfect this for me would be a little bit of kimchi. selection of desserts here. We have the glorious cheesecake. Absolutely delicious. Yes, kimchi. Yes. Chicken katsu. Tasty. Gonna get a great alcoholic beverage. Dinner time. Okay, so the damage for dinner is 944 yen. Santori, which is the drink, that was 152. $1.50 for a can of alcohol. Slice of cheesecake, 181 yen. $1.80 for a slice of cheesecake. We've got 453 yen for this beautiful big serving of chicken katsu and rice and 158 yen for a little pot of kimchi. So dinner $10, lunch was about $10, breakfast was like seven or something. So we're looking at 27 US dollars ish for a full day of food. Could probably work on cutting it down to be even less, you know, if you're really working on a tight budget while you're traveling. 30 bucks is basically what you'd pay for a meal in a in a restaurant for one meal. So you're getting a full day's worth of food and everything I've had so far has been delicious. Let's give this a try though. Oh. <laughs> sauce over this bad boy. So I think this is tonkatsu sauce. So tonkatsu sauce is, it almost tastes like, I think it's all what, 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 I'm not gonna help you. I don't know what this is. Surprise sauce. <gasps> oh, oh, it's mustard. Oh yeah, it's my. It's mustard. It's ah. That's that's not just mustard. That's like 
Spice! Spice! Everything's fine. Dan won't let me. He will not let kimchi in the house. He says it smells too bad. Let's see what it's like. This is unusual because I don't normally eat rice. I never ever eat rice. This is my third time eating rice today. Okay. Mmm. It's not crispy. I mean, it's microwaved after it's been deep fried. But it's still delicious. It tastes just as nice. The chicken's so juicy. Mm. And a little bit of kimchi. The juice, uh, alcohol, tastes like Fanta. 3% alcohol, so it's not a huge amount of alcohol, but still, it's $1.50 and it's alcoholic. Also sume des. I do recommend it. So that's it. Oh, we've also got the cheesecake, so let me smash this and then we'll try the cheesecake after. But I would say for day one, I think I've done pretty well. Food in Japan, insane in the best way possible. Okay. Dessert. It's got some sort of complicated peeling instructions here. So I think that you you open it at the top like this. I'm just expecting this to break and fly everywhere. There we go. I think that's how it's supposed to be done. And only a dollar. <laughs> Sign of a crazy woman. <laughs> really, Tiasha? A ham and cheese sandwich. <laughs> Of all the beautiful things in this place, and you're gonna make me eat something I can buy at 7 Eleven in Australia. That's, I'm so sorry. But it'll still taste better because we're in Japan. And a coffee, right? Yeah. Okay, coffee, coffee, coffee. Hot coffee. Oh, hot coffee. Well, that's the one I had yesterday. Let's get. Cafe Ore. We're the one that says fire. Fire. Let's get lit. Okay, how much was your breakfast again? 600 yen. 600 yen ish. You got like, it was like a half of a sandwich bread. and a small cup of coffee. So this is 240 yen, and it, this was 100 and something, so I'm beating you. Okay, so breakfast, 382 yen. I actually feel like I'm getting a, a bigger quantity of food here than what you had. You definitely Definitely? Are. Like, was, I double. But yours was toasted, though. Okay. Did they cut the crusts off for you? They have cut the crusts off, so see, there you go, 7-Eleven is still winning. And also, I've got lettuce, so mine's fresher than yours, too. It's a ham and cheese sandwich. I didn't give you much to work with, I'm sorry. You really didn't. <laughs> to be fair, there would be people coming here that don't want to eat fish and rice for breakfast. They might just want a sandwich, so I do really like that the crusts are being cut off. The lettuce is super crispy. How is the lettuce crispy? How is that possible? Genetically modified? <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Tastes like coffee. That tastes like like a cup that's of coffee. Amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. That's that is fire. This is not false advertising. It is fire. 100% <laughs> certified fire. Approximately 10 hours later. What a day. What a day. So we went to Harajuku. It was beautiful and sunny. We were doing some shopping. Had to stop uh, after breakfast. Tiasha had sushi train for lunch. Uh, she had, I think it was like tuna and some salmon and some various things and was it like $20 or something for mm -hmm. your lunch? So then I ducked into the 7-Eleven in Harajuku and uh, well, for a start there was hardly any stock left because the 7-Eleven in Harajuku in Takashita Street is really small. Hmm, very limited selection. I don't think I'm going to get anything near what you had. I, I just, I don't trust that. I, I don't really like the look of that, personally. Yeah, it kind of freaks me out too. Yeah. So I'll get this. Hey, what's the iced orange brulee latte? That's interesting. I've never seen that before. Or should I just get a cafe latte? What are you going to have at Starbucks? I normally just have a latte. A latte? I will not be mad if you try that orange brulee. Orange brulee? Okay, let's do that. Yes. The shelves are pretty bare because it was the lunch rush, so people were running in and grabbing stuff. So I managed to pick up a piece of onigiri and a little box of assorted sushi. We also picked up uh, like a, a Starbucks drink. It's a fake, it is Starbucks. It's not a fake Starbucks drink because it's Starbucks branded, but it's not from Starbucks. It's from 7-Eleven. So we intended to take 
my food and my little cup of Starbucks to a Starbucks so that Tiasha could get her own Starbucks. But the mistake that we made was going to a Starbucks that was far away. So you can walk from Harajuku to Shibuya and it takes about 15 to 20 minutes or so. So it's a beautiful day, really nice and warm. We're going for our walk and then out of nowhere, That was awful. So then we finally made it to Starbucks and we sat down and Tiasha had her drink which was like 600 or 700 yen. I think all up my lunch was about 700 yen for my sushi and my onigiri and my Starbucks. Might have even been 600 yen. So I think I got food and everything for the same price as Tiasha got a drink. So that was a win. Anyway, after that ordeal, we went shopping for the rest of the day and then we finished up dinner. Tiasha went and had yakitori. So we went pretty late because we were shopping for hours. So my plan was afterwards I was going to grab some yakitori from 7-Eleven because normally they have a window that's full of yakitori. But unfortunately for me, we left it quite late, we went to get mine, and yakitori was all sold out. It's normally right here. There's normally so many. We just left it too late. So what I've come away with for 756 yen, a piece of salad chicken, which is very, very tasty. It's just not yakitori. I got a bag of edamame, a bag of cabbage, a boiled egg, and also Tiasha had like a lemon mandarin kind of soju kind of drink, so I've got a Lemon sour. Lemon sour. I just kind of have to figure out a way to eat this because I don't have any plates or anything. I might just make a, a makeshift bowl of... Here, this is, this is my bowl. Good. Excellent. This is so depressing to watch. Let's try the edamame. Mmm! Holy sh... I could smash that. Oh, oh my god, it's so... Guys, it looks like she's exaggerating because she's just eating snow peas, but I swear to god this stuff tastes good. <laughs> and of course I've got my boiled egg, which I love. Clever ways to crack open a boiled egg. Okay, just break that up and throw that in with my cabbage. This is... I know guys, I know, this looks depressing, but it's re I swear... I swear, please believe me, it's not as sad as it looks. It's actually very tasty. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Don't you mock me. Look, I had to sit in that restaurant and watch you eating. You can sit and watch me eating. Thank you very much. It's very nice. It's very, very tasty. It's good. Thank you. I won't cut. <laughs> I shan't cut. Oh my god. That chicken is so good. I can smell it from here and it's bad. Oh, it's delicious. Mm. I'm living my best life. I know it, it looks like I'm <laughs> eating a bag of cabbage in a bed at 2 a.m. I'm living my best life. Oh! Oh, that's strong. 7%. 192 yen. $2 for a 7% alcoholic beverage. <sighs> Only in Japan. I'm gonna leave you to it. <laughs> so I'm googling vegetarian breakfast in Japan just to get some ideas of what sort of things people eat. There's really not a hell of a lot coming up. Two eggs, that'll be good. Vegetarian in Japan, you're going to kind of struggle because there's going to be dashi in a lot of things, which is like a fish stock. A little bit difficult. We can still do it though. Don't don't worry. We can still do it. This is ramen veggies, but see, my only concern with this would be, does it have fish stock? How about we just go into Google Translate again? Oh, it's got gelatin in it. There you go. It says gelatin lard. Okay, I can see the words chicken and meat and beef. So, unfortunately, the ramen veggies will not suffice. There is an egg salad sandwich. That's pretty safe. Can't really go wrong with that. I mean, you can look at it and see it's a bit of bread and egg. I'm seeing the words jellyfish, pork, chicken soup, oyster sauce. Sorry, 
guys. Even though it's just egg, it just says on the packaging, egg and mushroom, it does still have various things in it. There are still options, but I think we've got some yummy stuff here. Okay, so breakfast time. We're sitting at Starbucks in Omotesando. So for a total of 706 yen, so seven-ish dollars, forgive me, I don't know if this is what vegetarians would eat for breakfast or not. I'm just kind of guessing. We have a hazelnutsu and banana. So hazelnut and banana smoothie. That sounds too good to resist. This doesn't have any hidden animal products in it by the looks of it, so let's give this one a try. That's good. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have that again for sure. It's banana. It just kind of tastes like a banana smoothie, but with this hint of hazelnut, which is almost like a hint of Nutella chocolatiness. It's so good. This is camembert cheese. So it's got three little slices of camembert cheese. I really like cheese at breakfast time. They gave me a spoon for this yogurt that I picked up. So this is peach yogurt. Now this is the only thing, I should have probably checked this one with the translator before I checked out, just in case it's got gelatin or something. Oh, it, it does, it does have gelatin. Oh, it says may contain gelatin. So there you go, if you're strict, you know, very strict, because I, I do have a fair few vegetarian friends that eat things like lollies and stuff like that, you know, with gelatin in them. Oh, it actually has whole bits of peach in it. Super tasty. The peach is really nice. It's really strong peach flavor. Just leave your comments below. Like, if you're a vegetarian and you've come to Japan, what sacrifices did you make, if any? Did you just live on fresh fruit and vegetables and stuff because it's guaranteed that that's vegetarian? Crack open my egg. Have some cheese. That looks like such a such a weirdo whacking an egg with my phone. I think I've had an egg every day since I've been doing this challenge, haven't I? Yes. I have. Honey. Have it with my little bit of cheese. I'm a weirdo. Such a good combination. Cheese and egg. I love it. That's vegetarian breakfast. Let me know in the comments below what you would have done different, what you would have picked up for breakfast as a vegetarian. Okay. Yes, they have it, thank goodness. Corn and mayonnaise. So simple, so delicious. Now see again, I don't know if spicy cucumber would actually be vegetarian or not. Dashi. It's got dashi. Fish stock. Okay, surely this is a cup of cucumber and cabbage. There's rice and some toppings to put on top of it maybe. I could get some, uh, what do you put on rice if vegetarian? Maybe some kimchi? It's hard, right? It's really hard. Okay, so we've stopped in a park in Akasaka, which is where we're staying. What I ended up choosing was obviously my favourite, which is the corn and mayonnaise bread. This is 128 yen, $1.30. I've got a little bucket that has carrot, cucumber, radish, uh, what do you call that? Cabbage, and some sort of dressing. This is an asparagus salad. Now, I did check these before I bought them. I used the translating app, and they don't contain any animal byproducts. They have egg. I think this one has egg in the sauce but that was all. I also have the pumpkin salad. What else? Oh, I forgot I got this. This is a potato and cheese, uh, like a croquet, croquette kind of thing. Mmm, mmm. Oh my God. This is deep fried camembert cheese and potato, and it's heaven. <laughs> I also picked up a trusty milk tea. This one's really, really tasty. So that's the lunch. So I think what I'm gonna do is tip the pumpkin into the asparagus salad, put my dressing and everything on, snack on my veggies, drink my milk tea, finish my croquet, croquette, croquet, and uh, that'll be lunch. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm covered in mosquitoes. Oh no, no, no. No! Get away! No! No! No, 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 we can't. We have to go. I'm sorry. The park was a lovely idea, but I value my skin. Hi, Alex. Okay, this was a terrible idea. Why did we come to sit in nature? Why didn't we just go to Starbucks again? And now I'm stuck because you shouldn't eat and walk in Japan. It's very, very rude. So I either have to sit here and dine with the mosquitoes. <laughs> no, nah, let's go. My knees. Oh my god, is that an. Are you serious? Did they follow me? No, no, they did. Look, we literally just walked for 10 minutes to escape the mosquitoes and we still haven't escaped them. Okay, try again. Okay, we've been walking for a couple of minutes now. I think we've lost them. Okay, 
okay, I think I can finally settle in and eat my lunch, my vegetarian lunch, when there's animals attacking me. <laughs> what was that? What was that? It's a mosquito. Moving on. Okay, well, it might not be the beautiful park, it might not be a backdrop of trees that I'm sitting against, but at least I've taken a moment to finally stop and eat my lunch. So, I'm gonna try this dip, finally. Is that? No way. It there is, is no is. way. Mosquitoes chased us back to the hotel. But now that we're here, I can finally try my pumpkin salad, which I'm so excited about because no one does potato and pumpkin salad like the Japanese. It's just so tasty. So let's see if my very, very cheap 7-Eleven pumpkin salad is good. Yes. The pumpkin's super soft. Mmm, that's really creamy. The asparagus too. The asparagus is soft, but kind of crunchy. Not a bad lunch. I think it'll be filling. I mean, I'll finish it and I'll see how full I feel. Milk tea, salad, pumpkin, bread roll, some snacky vegetables. Perfect. This came to, I think I said at the start, was about 900-ish yen. So a little bit more expensive. I'm feeling like the vegetarian options are actually more, more expensive than some of the regular meat options and stuff, but don't feel like you have to eat at 7-Eleven. I mean, this is just a 7-Eleven challenge, but if you're a vegetarian, there's so many options for you. But if you need to eat at 7-Eleven, you can find stuff to eat. Hmm, that is a problem. There's no rice. See, most 7-Elevens, they carry similar stuff, but they don't all have exactly the same stock. Oh, is this rice? Cooked rice. It's just not in the fridge. Oh, look, these are like sachets of cooked rice and it looks like you put it in the microwave. Problem solved. The kimchi gods have blessed us tonight because we do have kimchi right here. So that's great. Add that, kimchi and rice and silken tofu. Seven hundred and eighty yen. So about eight dollars for tonight's dinner. And I think this is actually going to be really, 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 really good. So I've heated up my microwave rice. Now the rice was 187 yen for my big sachet of rice here. Look at that rice. It looks so appetizing. It does. Are you being sarcastic? Yes. We have the kimchi, which is 158 yen. I want to arrange this really nicely. I want this to look absolutely delectable for my vegetarian friends out there. How can I make this look good? <laughs> Stop laughing! <laughs> it's not funny! It's tofu! Are you, are you laughing at vegetarians, Tiago? I'm just laughing at like you being like, I want to make this appetizing and then... It will be, it will be. It's Look. like two squares of white things on your plate. <laughs> Wait, it's about to get a lot more interesting. Okay, now this is where shit gets real. So we're gonna go kimchi. I got this little bag of chopped up spring onion as a garnish because all professional chefs garnish their food. Onion bay. And to top it all off, the creme de la creme. She's swift, she's nimble. This is excellent work. Mmm, okay, Master Chef. Mm-hmm. Take it all back. Take it, it all back? Good. Doesn't that look great? Mm-hmm. Oh, and also, I've got just some water. Just water. But on the bottom here, it says, sustainably sourced in a plant-based carton. We stand sustainable water. I wonder if it tastes any better than in plastic. Oh, come on. No, please. No! Why? I try to do the right thing by the environment, and this is how it repays me. Maybe it's the plant base. <laughs> Fuck! 
That can't give it to me. Let me try. <laughs> Are you? <t> <laughs> okay. Are you now I feel buff. <laughs> Tastes like pool water. <laughs> so I'm gonna say we get a little bit of rice, top it with a little bit of kimchi, a little bit of the silken tofu. Hmm, actually very, very delicious. So there you go. You can put together a, a beautiful meal. You've got your carbs, you've got your fermented goods that help with your gut health. You've got tofu for your protein and eggs for your protein and cholesterol. That for $7 is about the same amount of food that you would get in a restaurant. Maybe even possibly a little bit more, a little bit less. That's it for the vegetarian day. Like I said earlier, if you've come to Japan as a vegetarian, let me know in the comments below what you chose to eat every day. Did you uh, just live on fruit? and veg because you were too scared to eat stuff that may contain traces of uh, animal products or did you just kind of pick stuff that was vegetarian and really hope that there were no hidden things in there that you didn't know about because you couldn't read the ingredients? Drop a comment down below. Anyway, see you in the morning for our western food day. It's, it's, it's all western food tomorrow so I don't expect it'll be particularly healthy but anyway, see you in the morning! Mango smoothie. That's that's pretty Western, right? That's what white people have when they finish yoga in the morning. Waffles. I don't eat waffles. Do you heat it up? How does it work? You just you just eat it like that. No, you put whipped cream and strawberries on it, right? Okay, so breakfast time, and this is the Western food day. So I've tried to get a, a sort of Western selection of food. This is you know for people that don't really feel like eating the Japanese style food. Maybe you're new to Japan, you can't really cope. So we've got a little tub of blueberries. Now this was the most expensive meal I've had so far. Blueberries were 436 yen for a little punnet, so four or five dollars. Okay, so my waffle was 127 yen, so a dollar thirty. 127 yen, a little mango smoothie, so a dollar thirty. I got a little bottle of cake syrup. It's way too big for one single waffle, but I can take it back to the hotel and keep it. This was about three dollars, so 321 yen. Should be nice, I'm, I'm hoping. I think I'll just put the blueberries on top of the waffle and then pour some of the syrup on it. That's pretty standard Western breakfast, right? The waffle has bits of like crystallized sugar inside it. Yum. Oh my God, this is delicious. Definitely not worth $10 though. It's almost a joke, like how delicious this is. It's crazy time. And just like that, it's over. <laughs> very, very small. And it's all gone now. For $10, definitely not big enough. This is still really, really tasty. And you can kind of have it on the go. You definitely need to sit down and prepare it, but you're not meant to walk and eat in Japan anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Also, I've got my little tub of blueberries that I can take with me throughout the day that I can snack on. Breakfast, I think, has been a success. A pricey success, but a delicious one. I like to consider myself an experienced traveler in Japan. But despite how many times I've been here, I still don't understand the rules of a pedestrian crossing. I don't get it because like back home, if there's a pedestrian crossing, people have to stop for you. If there's a pedestrian at the edge of the crossing, they, the cars have to stop. But here, they just seem to keep going until you actually walk out. You just have to just watch and learn. Follow that guy. We have a roast beef with horseradish sauce. That's definitely a Western sandwich. A hot dog. Doesn't get much more Western than that. Oh, there you go. Oh, what have we got here? Cheese burger. A cheeseburger. Fried potato. Chips and a burger. Doesn't get any more American than that. Nailed it. <laughs> We've picked up lunch. We think that there's a park around here. So this is Akasaka Mitsuke. 
and we were walking and we spotted all these trees and we were like maybe there's a park let's hope it's not full of mosquitoes because I don't think I can oh my god <gasps> holy shit I was just about to trip over this thing <laughs> in this suburb four times and I didn't know that there were birds opposite my hotel. They're glorious! <laughs> They're so big! They look like budgies. Oh, that's so cute! Oh, it's so hot. Okay, what have I got for you guys today? Let's see. I have Coca-Cola Vanilla Float. I'm going to assume it's just like Vanilla Coke. It can't be any different, right? It's vanilla Coke. We also have a Kit Kat. Kit Kat? Good. Two of my favorite things. Cheeseburger, 397 yen. They heated it up for me in the microwave too, so it's very, very hot. Like, piping hot. <gasps> Jeez. Cheese burger. It's better than McDonald's. I want a bite of it. Oh. What do you think? Am I it's right? better than McDonald's. It's better than McDonald's. Oh my god. I'm speechless. <laughs> I also picked up because it wouldn't be an, uh, a classic Western meal without some potato chips. Uh, fried potato was 300 yen. Oh look, they gave me a toothpick to eat it with. Three dollars is a lot for that many potatoes. <laughs> is it crispy or soggy? Soggy and not salted. Is the potato stale? Oh well. <laughs> this is amazing. So this makes up for it. This is a double cheeseburger by the way. And it's got onions and melty cheese and tomato sauce. Let's have some Kit Kat quickly so that I can finish my food in peace and put the camera away. For a start, this looks darker. Yeah, it was different. It's like slightly bitter. Kit Kat was 100 yen, a dollar for the Kit Kat bar. My Coca-Cola was 150 yen. So all up 929 yen for this meal. So 10-ish dollars for a cheeseburger, chips, Kit Kat and a drink. If you were gonna do that, maybe just go to Macca's. That's it for lunch, stay tuned. Spaghetti, huh? Although that's not really Western, though, is it? I feel like that's as that's, Western as that's Italian. It Italian is Western. Uh, Why would pizza be okay but not spaghetti? Shut up! <laughs> Meat sauce pasta. That's that's basically bolognese. That makes sense. And I'll get a salad too. Last thing to get is a drink, and I think a glass of wine will pair very nicely. So it looks like we've got Chardonnay and Chardonnay and. Chardonnay. So I, I guess we're having Chardonnay. <laughs> okay, so dinner tonight. 994 yen. So $10. I feel like I've done really well keeping all of the meals under $10 so far this week. So we have spaghetti. It seems to be some sort of spaghetti bolognese. This was $4, which I actually think is very, very good considering how much food there is. Look at that. Now, obviously, we uh, are trying to stick with the Western theme. So it's basically Italian ramen that I'm having for dinner. We also have a Caesar salad, which is 300 yen, $3 for a big box of Caesar salad. And then a bottle of wine, which was 324 yen, $3 for a little bottle. Cheers. Would be nice if I had a glass, but <laughs> tastes completely fine. The cheaper the wine, the, the more I like it. The more I like it. <laughs> Cheap wine. Cheap wine, mate. I like it. That is a lot of food for four dollars. And look, I'm eating it with chopsticks. Like I said, Italian ramen. Hmm, very juicy. Similar to bolognese. Not, not as much meat as a bolognese I would make at home. Okay, so Caesar sauce, Caesar dressing, croutons, a little bit of bacon in there and some parmesan sprinkled around too. So good, really, really, really good. That dressing is amazing. I can kind of taste anchovies in it a little bit, which I like. I feel like we should just do a montage of me putting something in my mouth and going, no innuendo, none. Cut that out. You cut that out right now. Amazing. God bless this country. Okay guys, so today it's my day to pick. Alex is currently still sleeping in our hotel room, so I'm gonna sneak into here and get her some breakfast because I'm such a good friend. 
So you might have heard Alex mention something called natto, which is like a fermented soybean here, but it's supposed to be an incredibly acquired taste. So I'm going to get one of these for Alex and she'll have the most nutritional breakfast she could possibly have. And that makes me a good friend. So I've just woken Alex up for brekkie. It's midday. <laughs> Are you nervous? Look, I am, but also I like to consider myself a very adventurous person when it comes to food. But that being said, I am nervous that there's going to be natto in here. Natto is something that I have put off eating for like eight years. I've just, I've heard terrible things. Did you at least wait until my lunch? I literally pick things that I couldn't read, except that I know exactly what that is. Should I translate or should I leave it a mystery? This is really hardcore packaging and stinky. It's natto. Breakfast, really, you didn't even wait for lunch. So natto is a breakfast food, I googled it. It smells so bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Can you see the strands yes. on the camera? Oh my god, it smells so bad. Yeah. It smells like a mixture of feet and earwax. Okay, so whatever this is was 240 yen. It looks like it could be milk tea. Possibly, it's got floaties. This stuff, whatever this is, I don't know, it was 138 yen. And then that big pile of natto was only 108 yen. Okay, I've, I've never had it before. I don't know what I'm meant to do. So disclaimer before you eat, it's incredibly nutritious. Like it's super good for you, which is why people eat it. Okay. And secondly, for the people watching, Alex has a precedent for loving slimy things, so I feel like she has more of a chance of anyone of liking this, but yes. we shall see. Do you think I just- this seems to be mustard, and that seems to be soy? Yeah, I'll just put a little bit of that. I don't- I can't imagine mustard going nicely with fermented soybeans. I've seen that people- they- they mix it. They- they get all in there and they mix it up. Like this. I guess you're mixing in the- oh wow. Oh, oh, it's wow. smelling worse. Oh, oh like it's that. going bubbly. I don't like that. No. Oh, oh I'm so sorry if this makes you sick. Why? It wasn't my intention. Just. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Mm. Oh, it smells like feet. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm gonna gag. The first mouthful was fine, like I started chewing and I was like, this doesn't really taste like much. And then the longer it sits in your mouth, the more like strange flavors that your taste buds start to pick up on. It just, it just tastes like eating something rotten. Yeah, maybe I should put more mustard with it because- You're so brave, I'm so proud of you. Maybe the mustard will cancel out the awful taste. So it's meant to be really good for you, right? Yes, yeah, super good for you. That was- I literally ate one bean and I almost vomited. I don't want to take a big mouthful, but also I want to put my heart and soul into this. Okay, let's try some of this. Oh, tapioca brate. Okay, so tap- I think it is. I think it's- A bubble tea? I think it's a bubble tea. Mmm. Wow, that's delicious. Yeah. I think it is green tea. Whatever it is, it's delicious. I love it. And then these... It smells like rice cakes, maybe? Ooh! Oh my god! What the hell? Is there it's, something inside? Well, it's actually the same inside as the outside, but the outside seems to be rolled in some sort of powder. Really nice. Oh, good, good choice. Wow, I love it. I'm gonna get those again. It's a mochi donut, so it's like flour and rice. What is kinako mochi? Roasted soybean flour. See, I knew it was ground up something, so soybean mm. flour. Very tasty, smooth and nutty. Almost like dried peanut butter. That was the taste that I was thinking of. At least now I know. I have the delicious tea. I have the delicious mochi. Time to eat your vegetables. Okay, should I just do a big mouthful? No, you might gag. I'm scared for you. I didn't realize it would be like this. I thought it would be nicer. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. This is the last day of 7-Eleven challenge. Go girl, you got this. End with a bang. End with a bang, vomits on the floor. Holy shit, she went right in there. not for us. <laughs> this is saliva coming out of my mouth. I'm not being dramatic. I'm sorry. I know you probably think, look at this stupid white girl just making a big deal over Japanese food. 
I'm not being dramatic. Goodbye, I hate wasting food, but goodbye. Well done. I'm so proud of you for trying that. The finale. I get Nato again. That would be so funny. She has to get it again. No, that's mean. I won't do that. So let me just um give everyone uh, a rundown of what's happened today. Mm -hmm. So as you guys know, I woke up a little bit hungover at midday. I ate the Natto, which was a natto good idea. And then we were very, very busy. We did a lot of shopping because I had a lot of videos to wrap up today, as you can see from the pile down here. And we were so busy and I had so many bags and we went to stop for lunch in the 7-Eleven in Harajuku and the line to check out kind of like wrapped all, all the way around the inside of the shop. So we were like, you know what, let's just, let's just not. So it's the evening now and I can't imagine having lunch and a dinner. So what Tiasha has done is she's picked up enough food to kind of, you know, carry us through for two meals. I can't imagine it getting any worse than it was. Like, I feel like the natto was definitely gonna be the worst thing of all. I remain optimistic. This bag looks very, very full. Just remember, this is the unusual food challenge. <laughs> Sounds promising. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at the receipt. Oh, okay, 1,923 yen. So that's not bad, considering most of the meals thus far have been about 1,000 yen or under. $20, okay, so what has $20 worth of weird food got you? So when I first looked at it, I thought, ah yes, that's crab, but it says imitation crab meat. So is it crab or not? Oh, that's strong. That smells like a seaside village. Doesn't look bad. I'm just concerned as to why it's imitation crab meat. What else do we have? I just went through so many emotions in, in the course of like one second. I was like, ah yes, this sounds like some sort of dried something. Maybe it's dried squid. I love dried squid. I looked at it. I went, oh good, it's salami. No, wait. No, it's smoked tongue. Tongue. Really? It smells like pastrami. I'm not terrified. <laughs> Very chewy. Very, very, very chewy. But it tastes like lemon. That's, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Alex, stop. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Next. You really went all out, didn't you? I don't know if you'll be able to see this from the packaging. That's like teeny tiny itty bitty little fish. And I, they have eyeballs. <laughs> They're all looking at me. Oh god, look at that. Look look at all those poor little souls. Look, every single one of those is a fit. They're eyeballs! They're all looking at me at once. Okay, that can go here with the crab. We'll, we'll get around to that. The f is this? <laughs> that just sounds terrifying. What what is a what is a whelk? Oh, oh look at that. Oh that. my lord. <laughs> oh, Tiasha, <laughs> why? Okay, we've got wasabi and we've got Sashimi shoyu, sashimi soy sauce and wasabi. I don't know what a whelk is. It says wrapper whelk. Maybe it's better not to know. You've got a lot of seafood. I didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh no, pickled plums. Oh, is that what that That's is? A pickle I, I recognize this straight away. That's a pickled plum. Pickled plum is very unusual. I'm not such a fan of the actual pickled plums themselves. From memory, they're quite sour. Yeah. It's like mm. someone took someone's kidneys and put them in plastic. <laughs> Please tell me that's not a different variety of natto. Dango. Mug what? <laughs> Mug what? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Sounds like something like you'd find at Hogwarts maybe? That smells really, really nice. Okay, that can be dessert. <laughs> Shine musket daifuku. Musket is grape, so that's promising. Daifuku, I believe, is like a rice cake. That looks very, very promising and very appetizing. This seems to be a good choice. I'm looking forward to that. I got that as a treat for you. Ah, for thank being you. Good. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> oh! Is this umeshu? This looks like plum wine. That is a pickled plum. So what you see on this plate down here is floating in there. This looks like it should be plum wine, and I really hope it is because I love plum wine. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna need some sips of this before I get into all this. Mmm, yummy! 
Bone apple tea. Whelk. Whelk. Okay. I honestly thought it was a fungus. A fungus. And, yeah, like a and you bought it for me because you <laughs> thought it was a fungus. That's very kind. Time for the whelk. Should I Google it? Should I Google what whelk? Will it help? Maybe not. Okay, let's get some soy sauce on there. Let's get a little bit of wasabi. At least it's not snail. I've never eaten snail and I'm very proud of that. I never want to eat snail. <laughs> it's a sea snail, isn't it? It's whelk sea snail. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's so, it's so chewy. That is the chewiest thing I've eaten in my life. It's like chewing on a ball of rubber. Ooh, she's going back. Pleasant. Yes. I don't mind that at all. It's actually really good with the soy sauce and the wasabi. Like, really, really good. But definitely doesn't look appetizing. Like, look at that. I'd buy this again. Shut up. I'm not kidding. I would. Until I Google it and find out what it is. Should we Google it right now? R-A-P-A-W-H Welk. That's just such a terrifying word. Mm. <laughs> it's sea snail. <laughs> no! <laughs> At least it's not snail. At least it's not snail. It's a species of large predatory snee, snee snail. <laughs> this large sea snail has become an invasive species. O M G. Oh sea snail. It's not slimy in any way at all. It's completely dry. Like it's very, very unusual, but very tasty. I actually think even knowing that it's snee, snee snail, I will enjoy the snee snail again. <laughs> the snee snail gets the thumbs up from me. Okay, next, tiny fish. No sh. Don't scream. Kind of smells like salty water. Tastes like anchovies. Yeah, not bad. I don't really see the appeal of it. I actually, I see the appeal of the sea snail. I don't think I'd go out of my way to order them again. They're not particularly unpleasant. Like, they're not crunchy. Actually, I'm gonna have another sea snail. Oh my god. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe I'm enjoying this so much. Time for some imitation crab. Still don't understand why it's imitation crab so is it not real crab but maybe it's like a whole bunch of blended together fish that's made to look like pieces of crab because crab's expensive is that it yum yum that's really good <laughs> that's really oh i would get this i would absolutely buy this again 160 yen a dollar 60 this is delicious I'd love to know what it's made out of, if yeah. it's not real. Okay, all three of those things are actually really, really nice. Okay. Oh, the plum. Mmm. Hello darkness, my old friend. I don't know if there's seeds in them, I don't quite remember. It's like a warhead. <laughs> you know warhead lollies? That's like literally- <laughs> Oh god. Oh my god, it's just- When it first touches your tongue, every taste bud goes <laughs> It's enjoyable in the most sour way possible. <laughs> Let's try the dessert. This smells promising. So it looks like we've got some sort of dark, possibly a zuki bean, a zuki bean. I mean, in the bottom here, there's some sort of green Play-Doh. Oh, doesn't taste like anything. That's kind of like glutinous rice ball kind of thing. Bean, mm, the red bean. Mm. Okay, don't eat the rice ball on its own. Eat it with the red bean. The musket mochi. Now this kind of looks like there may be a grape on the inside. Oh my god, it is actually a grape! Oh, look at that! Okay. Wow, this looks nice. Mmm! Yum! Very good choice. Grapes in Japan are a lot sweeter than they are back home. This is delicious. If I give you like a scorecard, you definitely did 10 out of 10 for the weird. And 8 out of 10 for overall flavor and everything. I'd only give you a 4 out of 10 in terms of meals because this is supposed to be lunch and dinner and you've literally just presented me with four types of unusual slimy fish and meat <laughs> and then two servings of squishy glutinous rice. That's how I eat my meals, so... <laughs> okay guys, so we kept every single receipt for every single meal that I ate this week. Everything that we purchased came to a total of 12,434 yen 
which converts to be $114 in US currency, $114.39, or in Australian dollars, that's $165.61. So I had an entire week's worth of food for $115 US dollars. That's insane. I didn't feel like I was missing out on anything. I felt happy with every single meal, loved the taste of everything, except the natto and the potato chips, but let's, let's forget about that. That's nice. If you budget and you think to yourself, look, Monday through to Friday, I'm gonna budget myself like $100 or something to eat, you can do it at 7-Eleven. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. You can find me on Instagram, it's Pretty Pastel, please. And keep up with all my Japan adventures. I've got a lot of videos coming out that aren't food related, they're more fashion related. But if you liked the food related videos, please let me know because, I mean, I love food. I could happily talk about food forever. With that, I'm going to finish my crab. Might have some more of my snails. Definitely gonna eat that dessert. And, uh, oh, and I'll finish my wine too. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!